Hi everybody, today I want to share with you one of my favorite books. It's called The Wander Society by Kerry Smith. And I'm going to share a bit about what it is about, why I like it, why you might want to read it, and read a few snippets. As you can see, I have many snippets that I like. Don't worry, I won't bore you with all of them. I also will be including a link in the description below for where you can find the book. It is available on Amazon in case you want to uh, check it out for yourself a bit better. So the book is about the act of wandering and unplanned exploration as a way of life. The author becomes interested in this whole topic after finding some cryptic handwritten notations in a used copy of a Walt Whitman book. As she begins to research, she comes upon this mysterious uh, secretive society known only as the Wander Society, and this actually ends up being a pivotal thing, a life-changing thing for the author. I like this book for several reasons. One, it's nice and short and sweet and easy to read. There are cute little symbols everywhere. <laughs> she has a sense of humor, definitely, in the entire book. It's very amusing, it's very interesting, and everything she talks about, the philosophy of basically slowing down, immersing yourself in the moment through your senses, and being open to the unknown as a way of life, as a way to deeper creativity, and being your true self. So these are all things that I teach, that I live, that I am about. So it feels like I could have written the book, <laughs> so to speak. I guess I also like it because I don't feel alone. <laughs> Meaning, uh, as I read, I was like, oh, see, uh, there are other humans on the planet that think like me, that act like me, that are drawn to the same things. She gives really good practical reasons for why you should wander, why this is actually something you may want to incorporate in your life. Regular wandering provides us with mental space so that ideas have a chance to form. Your thoughts are powerful and need time to emerge without distractions. This can only be done in a solitary fashion. Society does not understand the concept of unplanned time or non-planning. So you may be criticized, judged, or ridiculed for your activities. This is best avoided altogether. Basically, you don't have to tell anyone you're wandering. And I agree which is what she says next. No one needs to know about your wanderings. It's okay to have something that is just yours. The last tip that I also think is very important and I personally find happens to me is it takes time to ease into a wander. So the beginning might feel forced or uncomfortable, the body tight, the mind wild. You must walk for a specific period of time before you feel the wander start to flow. And you must give yourself time to get into a rhythm. And this is very true. You can't force this. We need to push ourselves into new ways of seeing and thinking, alter our course regularly, use all of our senses during our explorations, forget what we know, question things, and wake ourselves up. For creativity, you need to let your mind wander. Oh, so true. And I love this one line she has here, daydream as if your life depends on it. She shares quotes and thoughts from fellow wanderers, fellow famous wanderers like John Muir, Walt Whitman, uh, Nietzsche, and many others. And then she goes on and gives you like all these fun little things that you could do while you're out. Here's a bit of a closer look at the cover and the back. I have not read her other book, which is uh, apparently very popular, called Wreck This Journal. So just to wrap up, The Wander Society by Carrie Smith. I love it. I want to know, have you read it? Do you know about this? Are you a wanderer? Or do you have difficulty wandering, not having a purpose to, you know, something that you're doing? 
Let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing your thoughts and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. That, 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 that's what I'm talking about all the time. Lucy, can I, uh, am I allowed to carry on mm, video? Oh yeah, I'm recording. Am I recording? I am recording. No, it's time for you to stare aimlessly into <laughs> space. Right. You're so cute. Lucy, why can't you make coffee? Hmm? Can you learn how to use the coffee machine? That'd be wonderful. No, you're not looking up at the camera. You have to look at the camera. What's that? You want me to make you a cup of coffee while I'm at it? Mm. No. Such a poodle answer. It's sort of a philosophy for how... Uh... It describes me to a T.